Hi everyone, my name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. I have had a couple of weeks that, I mean the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. Two weeks ago I was at convention and just had so much fun with my downline and then also earning, uh, er earning recognition for different things that I had achieved in my Stampin' Up! career and my fifth time to go to Founders Circle. So that was such an exciting prize. But when I got home, my father-in-law, Ben Kaltoff, had been very sick for the last six months or so uh, with bone cancer, and he passed away the Sunday that I arrived home. And so this whole past week, I've taken a step back from my Stampin' Up! business and um, just just took a break and spent time with family and helped with funeral arrangements and then all of the thank you card writing that comes afterwards. And hopefully not so many um, ups and downs. I really like an even keel in life and so I'm excited to get back to sharing videos with you. So today I want to talk about my display boards. I had a lot of cards after I came home from convention that I want to share with my customers and downline. And this display board is one I had done, oh, maybe like in December or January. I can't remember for sure right now. But it uses just your ordinary clothes pins that you can pick up from Target. And it holds 20 cards. The only thing that I did not like about it, as I've been using it now for a few months, is that I have, in order to hold 20 cards, I have some of the cards that are a little bit scooted off. And so then when I would try to put these boards together, um, it, it, they kind of, you know, the cards would interrupt each other as I would place the boards together. And so now with all these new cards that I want to show my customers, I came up with another way. I'm continuing to use clothespins, but this way, uses the little mini clothes pins from Stampin' Up! And so what you'll need is our new uh, tear and tape from Stampin' Up! This stuff is so strong, it's just unbelievable. And then a pack of our clothes pins. You get 24 clothes pins. This is just the packaging because I've used all the clothes pins. But um, 24 of the clothes pins. And I even have a few scattered in here from some in-color clothes pins that were in our... Uh, product lineup last year. And so this is what the card looks, the display board looks like now. It is um, 18 cards, but none of the cards hang out at the edges. And actually the cards still are very secure. And I decided when I put this together that I would do a row of tall cards and then a row of long cards, a row of tall cards, and then a row of long cards. It seems like when I'm swapping, oh, and then a row of tall cards down at the bottom. But when I'm swapping, it seems like I get more of the tall cards, and so I don't need quite as much room to display all of the long cards. And so this is what I am doing now. And I like it, I like it a lot. I actually like it better than the great big clothes pants, and I think it's gonna be a little easier for me to take with when I do my displays at various events. And so now I'm going to take you over to my overhead camera and we are going to learn all about doing um, this project. Hi everyone, it's Kate Kaltoff and this is a little bit hard to display but I just wanted to show you how I did this. So the first thing that I did is I put the cards down exactly where I wanted them. So for example, in my long row, I have my card and then I have a clothespin attached to it. And so basically I laid all my cards down exactly where I wanted them to be. And I also put the clothespins on to the card when I was putting them on the board just so that I would know what my spacing needed to be. Once I had the cards exactly where I wanted them on my board, then it was just a matter of flipping them over and adhering the, the tear and tape. So I am, I am just putting this tape onto the back of the clothespin and then just cutting it off. And so, as you can see, just take the tape, adhere it to the back of the clothespin, and snip it. And then one more time, put the tape down onto the clothespin and snip it off. Then it's really, really easy to just press that tape into the clothespin as tight as you can 
and then you just peel and then you place it exactly where you want it on your board and so I'm putting this one right here making sure that I have the bottom all lined up and then I can just press it right onto the board and that is on there very very securely and the reason I know this is because once I had put a clothespin down and thought I had it where I wanted it but then realized I was a little bit off so I tried to take it up and but because I had already burnished it down I was not able to get it up and it actually tore my board and so this is on there pretty good so now I'm just putting these down and I'm just making sure that I have them exactly where I want them and then I have them lined up once I have them down then I just press really really hard and then it is all secure and that's as easy as it can be and so I'm just going to lift the board up and you can see how nice they all stay on here and it, it's going to be great for transport. Now I did put my cards into cellophane sleeves and that makes them a little bit slipperier in the clothespin and so just to just to experiment if I put the put the card without the cellophane directly into the clothespin it will make it less slippery and your card will certainly not you know be tempted to move around if the board is bumped and so that is my share for today I hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you so much for stopping by stamping to share I truly appreciate you I'm going to move this out of the way just a second if you would ever like to visit my blog just go to www.stampingtoshare.com and I have lots of ideas tips and videos there for you I truly appreciate you have a great day bye bye